A lot of amazing Blender add-ons have been released recently. So today, we're gonna talk about some new Blender add-ons that allow you to create crowds, create buildings procedurally, cool looking signs, terrains and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with this new crowd simulation add-on called Population from B Production, which allows you to use its varied sets of characters, animations, textures and other stuff. Right out of the bat, this add-on comes with 48 3D photo scan characters that can be used for different projects, so naturally they are divided into categories, like casual, business and sport. The great thing is, you are not limited to the initial textures or the shaders that come with the add-on, because there is up to 8K PBR textures that include diffuse, normals, roughness, ambient occlusion, subsurface scattering and specularity. And if you are concerned about performance, there is a low poly and a high poly version of each character. When it comes to animation, they are created using motion capture with more than 50 unique movements. But wait a minute, this is an add-on about creating crowds. So naturally, Population offers a diverse range of options. Whether you want the crowd to move in a certain direction, follow a curve, gather in certain areas of a surface, or form a grid or whatever. And of course, you can customize your crowd inside a stadium and control their positions according to your project's needs. We also have an add-on that allows you to create cool stuff and it is called GeoSign, which allows you to create and generate various kinds of signs easily. The add-on actually makes things very easy. For example, you can quickly access the assets of the text signs. The asset library itself contains over a thousand signs with different types and styles, which means you can get endless variations. In addition to generating signs, the add-on includes various features like animation, which is a cool effect that you can add to your signs, and they will automatically look like they are flicking just like in real life. GeoSign also allows you to easily transform images, videos, and GIFs into green signs with animations, which will help add massive light screens to your scene. You can also change the default text in the signs, which is a given, and craft some custom text depending on what you want to be written on the signs. And the coolest feature about the GeoSign add-on is that you can actually display any shape you want, I mean on the signs, by drawing in your viewport using the annotation tool. And this will open endless possibilities for you. So you can literally create tons of different signs in a matter of just minutes. All the signs in the add-on come in high quality, and they have beautiful textures that will add a lot of realism to your scenes. The add-on also helps you create various kinds of renders, such as futuristic and sci-fi cities like the ones you find in Blend Runner, and you can do that with ease, that's why this add-on is really really popular right now. There is also a new Blender add-on that allows you to simply spawn multiple building elements such as doors, windows, panels and much more and then they will be procedurally distributed across a simple mesh that you can create and the result will be a complex building with a lot of details. The add-on is based of course on geometry nodes which means that the generated buildings can be customized as much as you want and you can control the density, the randomness, automatic boolean, offset and much more. The auto building add-on comes with a blend file containing more than 50 sample buildings that you can use on your own projects. Moreover, you can scatter objects on the roof or on the facade and automatically create support pillars and foundations for the buildings. And if you're wondering, it comes in two versions, the light version and the pro version. The light version comes with the auto building add-on with all its features like the auto base geometry node modifier and seven different building style samples which are Venice, Medieval, Geoclassical, Asian Block, Skyscraper, Old Japanese and Old House. And the pro version comes with everything that the light version has plus five other building style samples which are Wasteland, Sci-Fi, 2D Style, Venetian Palace and Castle. It also comes with multiple building samples for each style which is interesting. Also, King Tools took Twitter by storm when he announced the release of his amazing Blender add-on. The add-on is called GeoTracker, and it basically helps you track objects because we all know that Blender sucks when it comes to object tracking. So, the add-on has a different approach than Blender when 
when it comes to object tracking, which is based on geometry. It has an intuitive workflow and it allows you to use 3D models to create object movement from live action videos. It includes various features, which makes the workflow much faster and easier, like 3D object and camera alignment, automatic focal length estimation, video based 3D model texturing, and ultimate head tracking. And it is also ready to be used in pipelines outside Blender, which is interesting because you can use it for example with After Effects and Nuke since a lot of this work, which is tracking, is done in these couple of software, especially when it comes from VFX for movies or TV shows. The best thing about this add-on is that it is completely free for now, so make sure to try it. Also, you can take a look at other add-ons from Keytools because they have several good ones out there for multiple software such as After Effects, Blender and Nuke. Next up we have Cyberscape Pro, which is an add-on that will help you quickly generate futuristic cities. And as with most of the new add-ons these days, this one is also based on geometry nodes, which makes the add-on highly customizable, because you can change the size and shape of the city, and you can change the building height and tailor the skyline to match your artistic vision. Like if you want to create cities for certain projects, and what you need is very specific, and you need something tailored to your needs. And what's cool about the add-on is that it allows you to import images and videos and put them as signs and ads on your buildings. The images will be automatically scattered throughout the cityscape, meaning you can place them whatever you want. But this feature is still helpful and gives decent results. Even though the add-on is new and a lot of people aren't really interested in it, I think it has some potential because it has some interesting features. Last but not least, we have Terrain Creator, which allows you to easily create terrains that can be used in your scenes. There are a lot of similar add-ons like this one. So this one ain't very special, because we have another add-on called True Terrain that has all the necessary stuff for creating terrains. But what is interesting about this add-on specifically is the variety of terrains that you can create with it. And by that I mean, the add-on gives you a lot of control and preferences that allow you to customize the terrain as much as you want. The add-on is also easy to use. You just have first to choose from a variety of presets to get started, then customize the settings depending on what suits your needs, and after that, you can apply colors and materials. The best feature about this add-on is that it lets you draw terrain features like mountains and valleys directly on your terrain using the annotate tool. And you can also add and customize water levels with generated shorelines, erosion simulations, and foliage scatter. Overall, the add-on is good, but I won't recommend it at the stage it is at right now, because there is a free alternative integrated with Blender, which is called the Ant Landscape, which allows you to create similar things to what this add-on offers. However, this add-on can have a lot of potential if the developers worked on it and added additional features that can make it interesting like True Terrain or other add-ons. So there you have it guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.